Hey everyone, Rancher Dan with Rancher Dan's Garage here. And I just want to give you a final thoughts on the 1933 Cadillac Town Car V16 from Entex. Um, this kit was an older kit, uh, probably from the 80s, maybe the 70s. Um, it's a big, big car. Uh, 1 16th version um, really shows how big the 1 1 version probably was. Uh, I took this car to the next level on detail just to experiment. I went to a fabric store and bought some vinyl fabric and some other kind of felty type fabric for the carpeting and the headliner to give it a more luxurious look and to give the seats more of an authentic leather look and then I bought a, and I put vinyl on the roof to give the roof a little more of a vinyl look uh, authentic vinyl um, I like the car, it's so detailed, there's so many parts um, so much chrome, there's even chrome parts that I didn't use um, I couldn't figure out where they went, the instructions didn't tell you, and I'm pretty sure that they uh, probably were parts that didn't even go on this particular kit. They were just in the parts tree uh, because there are uh, other versions of other cars that probably come off the same line as this kit did in, from that company. So, but all in all, it was a fun build. Um, it was very challenging, and uh, it, if you really want to do a lot of detail, you can really spend a lot of time on this build. Um, the hood, the hood uh, came with steel hinges, like piano style hinges. Um, the only thing I didn't like about that was it makes the hood not really fit like, and look like it's supposed to. And you really have to take, go to some really uh, extreme measures to get the hinges to uh, affix to the styrene plastic. I ended up using uh, body putty and glue to get these hinges to stick to the styrene. Um, and then you basically will have to display the kit with the hood, one side of the hood open. Uh, because really the hood does not fit that great with all the hinges that are involved and then the door hinges were just absolute crap um, I'm either gonna glue the door shut and just glue one open for display um, or if you really wanted to if you can buy this kit and find it you can fabricate your own hinges um, really it was a terrible terrible uh, experience with the door hinges on this kit other than that it's a great kit so if you find this kit it's a little expensive on eBay but I recommend it if you want to buy it and build it and do your own version and I hope you enjoyed the pictures and the short video of my version of what I think this Cadillac should look like this is Rancher Dan Rancher Dan's Garage see you on the next build